Welcome to this quick demonstration of printing uh, with PDF using Form Maker. And we'll start off by uh, adding a form and uh, giving it a name. I'll just call it Test. And notice we'll be using a grid format page. And the allowable uh, aspect is going to be both landscape and portrait, although I'll only be demonstrating portrait here. We'll start off by going into design mode on the form and we'll add an edit box, uh, a date picker, a text box, a notepad box really, and then a little action button at the end. There we go, that's our form. And if I give that a quick run, just to show you the, uh, the PDF, if I go into results, that's the, uh, the PDF. As you can see, there's a big margin around the edge. Now, if you don't want that margin, uh, you can get rid of it if you go into the settings of the form. PDF margins here. If you set that to no, give it a run, and then have a look at that, you'll see that there's no margin at the top. Now, the reason there's a margin at the left and at the right is because it's printed the whole of the form on a single page, and the form is quite long. So in order to keep everything on the page, it's had to put a margin on the left and put a margin on the right. If we didn't want that to happen, if we didn't want to scale it, then we can change that. So if I set uh, this PDF scale to fit, to no, it won't scale the form. And just print it, there we are. But the problem with that is that now the form is truncated at the bottom. So it's not scaled, so it fits the whole width of the page, but it can't fit everything on. So the, uh, the best idea is to, is to scale, and it's always quite nice to have a margin around the edge, and those are the two default uh, settings. So margins, yes, scale to fit, yes. Now if we go back into design mode, I'll just show you a couple of other things. Now, um, this button at the bottom, quite often we don't want buttons to be printed, they're just there for use on the screen when we're entering data on the form. So we can change that by saying uh, no to the print for that particular field. Also this date field, it looks quite nice on the PDF form, but if we just wanted it to print simple text, we could change that to say simple. So it will print it, but it'll keep it simple. So if we run that now, and just press submit, if I look at the form now, you'll see that it hasn't printed the date picker field, it's just printed the actual date. And it's got a bit of a strange format there, that's the year, the month and the day. But also, the uh, the button isn't printed at the bottom, so because I switched that off. So it's kind of done what we wanted to, uh, but with the date picker, if I have another look at that, you see this print format here is currently set to year, month, day, but I can change that if I wanted to, to month, day, year, and then when I run the form, and have a look at the results, you can see that it's uh, is month, day, year. So that's how you do that. Now if the form is very long, it's going to look a bit. It's going to get narrower and narrower down the page. So I'll show you that. If we just take a clone of this particular field, this date field. So I'll clone it like that, and we'll make the first one. Let's make that one date of birth, and we'll make the second one birthday. And um, let's just take another copy, let's take another clone, and we'll call this one, let's have a wedding day. Okay, now we'll just make sure that it's going to print the, um, before I clone that I should really should set this back to normal, remember I set it as simple. So I'll set it back to normal so it prints the whole field. Of course, that last one was a clone as well. So it's 
clone simple, I want it to be normal. So if I now run this, you can see the dates here. Let's change this one to March, change this one to April. There we go. Now if I look at that, you'll see that this is actually getting quite narrow now. And um, it's recorded the fields correctly, uh, but the form's a little bit too long now to print nicely. So what we really need to do is break this form down into two pages so that each page is a little bit nicer on the PDF. So the way we do that is we go into design mode and that's our form, that's how it looks. And first of all I'll copy, I'll, I'll clone, sorry, I'll clone this page. That's that button down the bottom. And the new page we'll call, um, let's call it uh, wedding details for want of another name. So now that, that's our first page. That's the page I just cloned. So the page, the clone is exactly the same as the original, apart from the title. So on this first page, I can get rid of the wedding date just by pressing that delete down there. So that's got rid of the wedding date, and also get rid of this label, uh, sorry, this notepad field down the bottom. I could delete it by pressing that button there, or I could go into here and press this button here. It does exactly the same thing, which is to delete that field. So now on the first page, we've got uh, this edit box at the top, two dates, and a button. And on the second page, we've got the label again, repeated. So I'm going to de delete that from the second page and okay we've got date of birth birthday on this first page we want date of birth deleted from this second page and birthday deleted from the second page because that's on the first page and now on the second page we've just got wedding day and label so first page is just those fields second page those fields and that's probably a little bit better balanced than the um, than the first uh, first stab at it. Now notice this button here is next page. That's the default button you get when you drag a button in. And the, the reason why it goes to the next page is because of this action here, which is next. The title is next page, but I could say um, wedding details, or I could say go to next page, or go forwards. These two are unrelated. It's the, the fact that it goes to the next page is caused by the fact that this button here the action on the button is set to next so that's fine for the first page because it'll take us to the second page but on the second page there's no third page so there's no point going next page on this so I'll make it submit the form which means I've finished with it it's the same as clicking the little tick at the top so that's that last button there and I'll give it a title of submit there we go and then if I run the form now, we can put in a, a name, we can put in a couple of dates, we can then go to the next page by either doing the usual swipe or we can press this button at the top or we can now use this button here. And on this page we can say the date of the wedding and put in some details, whatever we like. And because we're finished, we just click the submit, it submits the form, clears it, goes back to the first page as you would expect. But now when I look at the results, the PDF, you see that this is a much nicer form now. You haven't got too much space on the left and the right. It's, it fits nicer on the page because we've only got three fields on the first page and two fields on the second page and I've hidden those uh, those buttons at the bottom. So there we are. That's uh, Printing forms, um, PDF printer forms, using Form Maker, and that's all there is to it.